Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Now you guys know I use PCBWay for all my PCBWay, for all my PCB manufacturing needs. I use them not only because they sponsor the channel, which they do, but also because they do good work and they do it quickly. Anything you need from through hole to SMD work, PCBWay can make it and they have 24 hour service. So there's a link down below. Check them out if you need any PCB manufacturing done. Hey, what's happening guys? I am sure you're familiar with this guy here. If you're familiar with Arduino at all, it's a four by four key matrix. It's one of those little, uh, See how they're, they, they stick up there? Kind of like a spongy little clicky. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Yeah. It's a little clicky. It's, it's a way to get input into your Arduino. I hate these things. There's no real good way to mount them anywhere unless you use like some double sticky tape. You're never quite sure if you're making contact. And they're pre-labeled. So you know what? We're going to make our own. So over a computer and draw something up. So here's my idea and here's the drawing. We have our columns, four of them. Pardon my poor drawing. <laughs> and we have rows. I don't know what I did there, but okay four rows. One, two, three, and four. And these are all exactly the same. So if we zoom in here, you can see that each individual switch is wired from VCC through a 10K resistor and then through a diode. So when a switch is pressed, the VCC is going to travel through here, through the diode, and into R1. So, switch 1, key 1, will be active on C1 and R1. Same here, C2, R1, C3, R1. And then we move down here, you'll have C1, R2, and so on, and so on, all the way through. So that's the drawing part. Now, it's super simple to turn this into a PCB. So here's the PCB view. We have our rows, we have our columns. You can see there's key one. And then each key, of course, goes through its own diode. Let's see if we can find the... There we go. Come on, stay on there. What don't want to play nice. Oh, there we go. There's the diode from key one. Goes into there. And that goes over. You can see all three of them, all four of them, travel down here and go to R1. Then the same thing for row two, row three, and row four. And that brings us to our rendering, which you can see here. I'm going to use a female connector over here. It really doesn't matter when you put your board together. You can put in male or female, whatever you want. And what I did here is I made these white uh, silk screens so you can write in the function of each individual button. That way, you're not limited by what's, what's uh, you know, printed on the PCB. And of course I put mounting holes there. Then there's each of our columns, uh, 10K current limiting resistors. There's our 16 diodes. I use shock key diodes. You could just as easily use uh, silicone junction diodes. I just happen to have shock keys uh, available and ready to use. So I'm going to order these up from PCB Way, and we should have them in a few days. All right. 
the boards are back. They're pretty good. No problems there. Everything looks nice. And to save you the trouble of watching me solder, I have gone ahead and done one up already. Nice and neat like. So you can see we have all of our diodes, our 10K resistors, there's our header. And you can see I've labeled it here column one, column two, column three, column four, row one, row two, row three, row four. And then you can write in there the function of the buttons. And I even used, uh, where's it at? Just to try something interesting, I use this stuff, liquid tape, which is a, a rubberized compound to kind of cover the back of this. It's not quite dry yet, as you can probably see. Oh boy, she smells like a magic marker from the 1970s. A few more sniffs of that and we'll be in happy land. So, we got that ready. Next, we're just going to need some jumper wires. I happen to have a bunch of those ready. And an Arduino, I got one of them. And we can hook this guy up and give it a try. I think that's much better than this. I don't know. That's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know down below. What do you like better? Do you like the little flat microwave style keypad or do you like buttons that actually go click click and another thing that I wanted to tell you about this is I use six by six by six buttons but in case you don't know buttons are available in all different sizes so you could actually change the heights of your buttons and put in tall buttons like this or if I can get one out come here short buttons like that even in like you know you could swap them in the same project so like if you had something that you wanted to make sure that you could find it without having to look for it you could put in a tall button for that po that one uh that one button or more than one button and you could simply find it by feel and uh, that'll work out real nice as well. So like I said, I want to make this totally customizable. So it's not a one-trick pony. You, know, you can take this and use it for different projects by writing different things. Or, you know, put different buttons on it. Make it work for you however you want. So today is uh, Wednesday, December 16th. And it looks like... Uh, winter here in the Ohio Valley so if you're nice and warm down there in Florida you have a nice day up here we do all four seasons all right so we got just about everything ready to roll here need to separate this purple one a little bit that's our that's our five volt pin Then we start with C1, which is our next pin, this gray one. And C1 goes to 7. I'm just using the uh, Arduino keypad library. All right, C2 goes to 6. And then five and then four and then we do three two one oh for the rows three Two, one, zero, and 
unplug that. I'm gonna try it without not the five volts first. No, no, we need the five volt to push through those diodes. So there's the five volt. Alright, so I'm gonna plug her in. Hopefully nothing smokes. And I will upload the code. Sketch is compiling. When it uploads, you should be able to see activity on the uh, TX and RX pins here. Come on. Okay, compiling should be done. And uploading. Done uploading. All right, let's see what we get. All right, let's see what we got here. Four, yeah. They're not going where I thought they would go, but so far it looks like that one doesn't work. Looks like we're getting output from the buttons. So the keypad works. My uh, my uh, wiring of this here is a little off, but I'm not too worried about that. That's just a matter of moving these around in the sketch. The hardware works just fine. So the Arduino keypad works. How would I modify it for version 2? Well, we could move the individual diodes underneath each of these, make it a bit smaller, something like that, and perhaps even put an LED next to each key. Will you guys let me know down below what you think I should do for version 2 of this keypad? And I'll put a link to this so you can download the Gerbers or order one yourself. I like to thank you guys for watching and I like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.